Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to the finale of Uzumaki. Now, from what I have heard between early this morning and last night, some people are mixed on this. Obviously, um, as someone who's read it, of course, like, we'll compare and contrast at the end. But I, I think, you know, regardless, this was... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to say anything about that until we get to the end. Fuck it, let's go ahead and watch the final episode in three, two, one, go. And y'all the dummies who are gonna go try. There's like a little hint. They tried, so what What do you think happened to them? No, they did. It's too late for them. You're on your own. She breathed. My good, this swirls. Oh my god. Jesus. Those are all those other cars and news cars and everything. Oh no, but watch. Girl, how much they paying you to come out here? Because you know what? It wouldn't be enough. Let me tell you. I don't care how much you fucking pay me. I'm not risking my life for a fucking story. It's a little crowded, though. Well, if, you, <laughs> if you're so annoyed about it, get the fuck out. Hold up! There's no way out. What's 
Unfortunately, that's not going to happen for you. And if you go over there, you'll die. Those are snails. Um, that's snail, right? Yeah, it's snail. Nah, bruh. Shit is still funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tsubishi? And you've been stuck here ever since. And you also been here stuck ever since. You're all just stuck here. See, this is why you don't go helping people sometimes. Because you never know. You might end up getting killed. Have y'all, has anyone not seen a horror movie before? What do people in horror movies not do? They don't help. And the people who do, what happens to them? They die. Oh, dad is gone.
you know what I was thinking about when I read this? Like, especially when they were talking about other ways to escape. Why? And I think they end up doing it. Um, the forest. Turn into a snail. Oh, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. No, he turned into one. No, sir. Don't want to do that. That's why. You know how when you get one of the meat thingies that's like the the circular one and stuff and you're just like squishing it out? That's what that looks like. Like when you get an eclair or something, something that has like, that's filled and like, you know, the filling comes out. <laughs> Baby, unfortunately, your dad is gone. Just swallow it up like nothing. It better not be snail meat. Choice. I wouldn't eat it.
The way it looks, it just looks like a big old bus. It, like, bump. He doesn't want to bump. <laughs> you feel bad for the kid, though. Far. Hmm. Yeah. How long have you been walking for? You know what's funny? And I realized I did this ever since the beginning. Every single time when something happens and, you know, I just know it, I smirk and I, I think it's so freaking hilarious. <laughs> you do feel bad for these people because no matter where they go and they're trying to find, like, oh. That's it for him. Leave him. Leave him. He good is gone too. There is no way. Go, yeah, because none of y'all ain't got no watch on, no nothing. Oh, no, right, you do. Nothing, he's fine. No, no. You got one witcher right now. You don't y'all just don't know it. Y'all ain't running fast enough for me.
Oh, no, no, no. That's the town. That is definitely the town. Mm-hmm. Well, they built a lot. And now that is a spiral. Sweetie, they're both gone. Give me a second. Right, but you just saw them like not too long ago. <laughs> so then it does make you wonder how long were they really walking around in that forest for? Look when I'm done. Jesus. There you go. It'll go to that, but then return back to its original form. Well, you know, because since I'm guessing everyone dies, there's never a record of it. Exactly. My thing is, how in the world can someone still be getting cremated during this? And see, it was inevitable for her. Once again, we know that no matter what, whoever helps these two, they're goners. Oh. 
No, I'm not ready for this. Oh my god. Don't go down there. Oh, I know what's down there. You don't want to go down there. I'm not ready to see this. Oh my god. Oh god! That's because they are, honey. And there's your parents. And go where? Okay. Final thoughts. This was still a good adaptation. I, I mean, is, was it the best? I, you know what? I'll say it was better than the Junji Ito collection and 
the maniac adaptation that's on Netflix. It is still a one-to-one to the manga. Now, my little big nitpick is there there was a lot of other things that I wish they did add. Like there was one moment that I love in the manga between Suichi and Kirie where they're on the beach, they're sitting and she has a conversation with him saying that, you know, like how she deeply cares about him and everything. And that she, if it wasn't for him, she would have died when she got her hair in episode two fucked up. Um, and so no matter what, this has always been a moment where they both been saving each other for the longest time. I know we're about to see something else after this. Oh, no. If it happened to Carrie, it's happening to her. And her name is Ari. Very good. It's very inevitable because no matter what, they can't stop it. No one can stop it. it it's a real. It's still the one of the best personal favorite stories that he's written, and I love it so much, and I love rereading it. But it it was chilling. I really enjoyed these last four weeks with this show. I just hate the fact that number one, four episodes was not enough, especially with the fact is, it it's a lot of information that is supposed to be told and like a spectacle certain amount of time and do I think they did it enough time a little bit of yes and a little bit of no I will say probably my favorite episodes were the first and the last episode episodes two and three um still good but I think due to a lot of cuts that they made because there was a lot of things that they cut out um and anything else that they had to do of course we're also talking about the quality of the anime itself itself because it because a lot of people were like oh my god like how do we go from this high of episode one to what the fuck was episode two and three and then coming back to a the same people ap that did episode one doing episode four but you do you truly feel bad for anybody who really came in from nowhere out of a different town news crews anyone trying to help these people out and wanting to also know the truth that they also died as well. Everyone who came here freaking perished. Um, even Mito, you, you felt because like no, let let's talk about Mito for a hot minute. I remember the first time when I read it, and he he turns into a snail, and she decides to like you know say hey go be free. I'm gonna come back for you later. And I was like, so is he is he probably gonna be like the soul? Cause like I I was over here placing bets, wondering who was gonna be the sole survivor out of this because. Kyrie and Suichi are our main protagonists in this horror series. And so, you know, you automatically think they are the final boy and final girl of this story, respectively. And that no matter what, they are going to live out this to tell the tale of what all transpired in this. And then you see that even for people who are final boys and final girls, that even them, they can die. And, and so it's really... From what I also remember, everybody considers this not only a horror uh, a horror series and stuff, they consider it kind of a little bit of a romance, especially with Kiri and Subichi. But I do love the aspect of what they did with the last couple of minutes of this episode of having, like, the new quote-unquote ending. Because when, I think from what I remember in the book, it just ends. It shows, like, that the, the underground city and such them dying and then not the, the city not getting rebuilt or anything but I do love the fact is what they did is so many years later we have a new generation we have a new boy and new girl and now they're going to go into the same trials and tribulations that Kiri and Suichi and everybody before Kiri and Suichi and everybody after you know these two new people are going to go into because it's a cycle and it's gonna you know 
continuously go on a non-stop loop just like a spiral but I mean still this was a really good adaptation I know once again as I said with the freaking Suicide Squad Isekai and this and I'll say it again is that this lived and died very quickly because everybody had a hype for it episode one and then two and three happened and now we're on four and now the show is over but I still enjoyed it for what it was um, like I said, I just wish it was a little teeny tiny bit longer instead of four episodes because number one, if we're looking at TV nowadays, like I, I love the fact that yes, with some shows we get to have like, um, depending on what the company is. So like, I'll say like Netflix, maybe even, well, Netflix is one, HBO is one. I, I don't know about stars or Cinemax anymore. Um, shows that are typically like very, very short. So let's say like, okay. Um, one of my personal favorite shows, Big Little Lies, that is two seasons of seven episodes each, which is like 14 episodes in a nutshell. And you can get a beginning, middle, and end all in one season. But with this, especially when you're looking at a source material or just anything that is based off of source material, you're sitting here secretly wondering how the fuck can you give me a beginning, middle, and end without taking shit out and such. And that's what they had to do. I get it. Um, I think if they wanted to, or I would like to see, and I know they're doing it next Saturday. They're showing all four episodes back on Toonami. Um, I don't know why. I kind of want to see, like, extended stuff or things that they couldn't put, um, into this, into, like, deleted scenes or something. Because, of course, I love the crap out of this series so freaking much. It's one of my personal favorites. But, no, this was still good. Gonna miss it. But it was still good. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards the entirety of Uzumaki. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all. Well, you, you'll you still see me next Saturday for, like, Pretty Cure and everything else. And then anything else that's coming out. Because the girl, your girl still has to catch up with stuff. Even though it was my birthday weekend this weekend. I opted not to record on certain dates because, duh, I didn't want to work on my birthday. But in the end, I did. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!